What's up, fountain pen peeps? Today I've got a pen that I've never tried before and I just received this week, courtesy of Pen Chalet. It is the Diplomat Arrow Flame with a fine nib. So let's go ahead and look at this pen. First of all, it comes in a black and white packaging that features the Diplomat logo, which is oversized and it kind of bleeds off the uh, the front here a little bit. Opens up here from the side, slide it out. And it becomes very interesting because the box is actually, the top of it is metal, which is really interesting. And then that metal part, it slides right off just like this. And then you open the box and there's that. Now, of course it has it's diplomat this part actually comes off so it has a, a diplomat one page it has the corner to indicate that you're supposed to take it off like this and then finally the pen isn't that gorgeous oh my gosh that is so cool on a nice cushioned uh kind of pillow like Thing with uh, the Diplomat logo on it. Raise it up and then you've got some cartridges to get you started. And also you've got some more Diplomat literature. International Diplomat Guarantee. It also says that it was made in Germany. Side of here, it just gives you all the different things. Um, you know, I guess if something goes wrong with your pen, you know what to do about it. I have to say the packaging is really cool. I really enjoy that. Uh, just really cool, innovative, different type of designs. Not your typical coffin box type of packaging. I was very surprised to open that up and find that the top, it's this metal thing. I wish there was something I can do with this. Like, I don't know, get another diplomat pen and make like, you know, bookends or something, right? But it's very cool. So let's take a closer look at that pen. So here it is. This is the flame. And from what I understand, the arrow flame is flamed by hand, which I personally don't know what that entails. I just hope that whoever was working on this beauty didn't burn themselves. The shape of the pen, it's supposed to resemble a Zeppelin. Uh, you know, and I, I think Zeppelin, I think back of like, um, was it the Hindenburg that blew up like 100 years ago or something? So that's what I think of. But I'd have to say that looking at the shape, it actually does take on the shape of a Zeppelin. I could totally see that. And I think that's really cool that they have, the designer of the pen has had the Zeppelin in mind when they had concepted this pen or built this pen. So I really appreciate the ideas that happen behind the design of the pen. Let's uncap. Oh, and it like comes off real, like, that's really nice. It's a nice, smooth transition to the nib. And then to put it back on, you've got the nice snap. I love that snap. So let's pull that off and let's take a look at the nib. So it is a fine nib. And the nib is a stainless steel nib and it has the Diplomat logo on it. And let's see if, does it post? Yeah, it does. What a great size pen, wow. I mean, this feels really great in my hands. The section is also metal and it's the same color that matches this bottom part of the barrel where it meets the section. Now, let's see if it has a cartridge converter. Oh, thank goodness. So it does have a logoed Diplomat cartridge converter in there. So I can get started with whatever ink I want. And I believe today I will be inking the Diplomat Arrow with Monteverde Horizon Blue. I think that's gonna be a nice match. It's not a light pen. It's very, I mean, it's got weight to it, but I like that because it has a nice solid feel to it. But what, the one thing I can't get over with this pen is just this gorgeous detail. It's fluted like, like a Greco-Roman column, if you will. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. And I just love the simplicity of the jewel and the finial on this. I mean, it just looks really good. Now the clip is also matches this top part. Also, can I point out, if you look at the top here, you've got a very subtle Diplomat logo here. I love that. 
I mean, it's just so cool. This whole design is great. Let's see, is it springy? Yeah, actually, it kind of is. I mean, if this thing writes as good as what I've heard, this might be the perfect pen. So let's go ahead and ink this fabulous pen up and let's see how the stainless steel fine nib of this diplomat writes. I've heard nothing but good things about it. So I kind of had to see for myself if this nib writes as awesome and as smooth as everyone says it does. Thank you so much for joining me for my first Diplomat Aero Pen. I've got to say, I'm impressed. This is one of their pricier pens. This pen actually runs, it's about two, it's around 250, I believe. And I believe that's because of the type of um, technique that goes into putting the flame together to, I mean, you got those people who are putting this, Flamage on the pen, they need hazard pay. I mean, to make beauty like this, don't they deserve an extra five bucks? Seriously though, don't, don't miss out on this pen. This is a great writer. It's beautiful. It's a little on the heavy side, but you know what? It didn't bother me one bit. So go check it out. And that's how the ink flows.